What is up, YouTube? Five foot eight dunker, vertical trainer Andy Lloyd here from Sky Athletics. Don't know what episode this is. But we're gonna say this is episode number one. After my most recent dunk session, my birthday was June 14th, so this past Friday. I don't know when you guys are watching this, so June 14th, 2019. Uh, I turned 24 and I had a dunk session the day after. I did get a few dunks down. I'm gonna throw a picture right here. And the reason I'm putting the picture is because I wanna save some of that footage. I might post uh, a couple videos at the end, but I, I trained until fatigue that day. I really jumped much more than I planned on. Uh, I wanted to just go get a dunk and then leave, but you know, I get greedy with that kind of stuff. I was really happy just to be up around uh, the rim again. Um, it felt really good. I felt slow, I felt lethargic, and I still feel like I have to cut weight. So I'm going on a different diet. Um, so I might even update you guys on, on the diet that I'm doing right now. Really looking to cut body fat within the next six weeks so that when I dunk with Talik, um, you know, I can put on a show at that dunk contest that I'm in, again, in Allentown, Pennsylvania in late July. Other than that, I feel smooth. I'm gonna show you guys some of my workout today. Again, I'm still working out in my garage. It's safer as far as not getting sick. I just finished the warm up. If you guys wanna see my warm up, it's in my how to lift playlist. There's about 20 videos and it'll show my lower body workout slash lower body leg warm up. Lower body leg warm up. It'll show my leg warm up. So I do the same thing every single time. You can see I'm sweating already and now I'm officially ready to start my leg workout. The big thing here is just going to be adding resistance to every single workout. I'm talking dumbbell resistance whenever I jump, uh, resistance bands whenever I jump, because that's what I need. I need to get some speed and I just need to get some raw strength back. I might even go and pick up some weights at Dick's Sporting Goods or at uh, you know some other sporting goods store because there is nothing like training with heavy weights and adding sprinting and jumps into that uh, you know, with free weights. So we'll see, again, I got six weeks, so all hands on deck, pedal to the metal. I've gotta get ready for the session. I can't show up and be a bum. I'm gonna show you guys my workout today. I'm gonna keep you guys um, more updated as far as what I'm doing, how I'm doing, how I'm feeling. Biggest update right now is I got two weeks until I start my, my next round of chemo. Um, pretty tired, and I think that's just from the radiation and the, and the chemo, the first round. Uh, all of that stuff together, they say you feel the effects normally two to three weeks after the most. So I'm fighting through that, um, fighting off uh, the sugar that I ate Friday through Sunday. But again, no messing around. Um, really looking forward to the next time that I dunk and looking forward to these workouts because I got off track when family visited for my birthday. Um, longer intro, but again, just an update for you guys about where I am mentally, physically. Let's get this work. When the messenger of misery visits you, what are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? There are things that you think you'll never need to know that you may only need to know one time in your life, but that could save your life because you had that knowledge. Unless you attempt to do something beyond that, which you've already mastered, you will never grow. What is it that you looked at at some point in time and you decided that you couldn't do it? That you talk yourself out of it? You're waiting on your next door neighbor to make it happen for you, it may not happen. If you're waiting on your mother or your father, they may be so ancient in their thinking that they don't understand this opportunity that you have. And if you're waiting on them, it may never get done. You don't beg average people to be phenomenal. You don't beg good people to be phenomenal. You just are phenomenal and you will attract phenomenal. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. I want you to make that dream become a reality because if you don't, you will be working for somebody else to make their dreams become a reality. 